On the front row, it's a pair of Matthews. Car 65 is Mike Matthews, and car 23, John Matthews. The second row in car 01 is Jerry Buck, and alongside of him, starting in that fourth position, is Tim Rowenbeck. Then in the third row, Charlie Osborne pilots car 02. Beside him in 29, is Bob Justice, and on the tail in car number 20, Mike Brown. Eight laps for this, the first limited sportsman heat race here on Buyer Chevrolet Body Shop, Triton Transport, night at the races. That's John Matthews out front in 23. Mike Matthews is second. Now Matthews with a spin in the fourth turn. And everybody gets through it. In 65 and John in 23. He's a rookie driver in the limited sportsman division, doing a fine job out here in this event. Now, now Jerry Buck pulls his boat par into the second running position. Charlie Osborne is third. That's Mike Brown in fourth. He'll, he'll test Osborne on the outside in the fourth turn. Flags this time around, signifying halfway for this event. Mike Brown continues to move on the outside. He'll take on Jerry Buck next as Matthews gets squirrely off the second turn, but he keeps it headed in the right direction. And now Mike Brown is second. He'll go after your leader down the backstretch. That's still Jerry Buck in third. Oh, Buck into the left rear corner of Mike Brown. Brown's car spin.
close. Bob Justice, the winner. The runner-up is Charlie Osborne. Third goes to Jerry Buck. Finishing fourth, I don't know. Who was fourth in that event? It was a close uh, call for the fourth spot. John Matthews finishes fourth, and Tim Rowenbeck comes home fifth. No doubt about the winner, the winningest heat race driver of 1993, Bob Justice in car 29. That is seventh heat race triumph. the lineup Mike Rush and Zero Hill on the front row second row Randy Sward and Joe Hill no relation to Zero in the third row that's Jim Kidd and Jim Cruz and out back your fast qualifier for tonight Ken Sward so the inversion draw number 10 by Ken Sward fast qualifier that means he'll start 10th in the feature the 10th fast qualifier on the pole eight laps to go for this heat race That's Mike Rush, the leader, in car number 98. Rush from Powell, Ohio. He's being stalked off the fourth turn by Randy Swore. Rush with one heat victory in 1993. He'll try to hold on six and a half more circuits. He slips high in turn one. Sward, Randy, can't quite do it. Zero Hill and Joe Hill slug it out for that third position. They'll be halfway when they cross the start-finish line. Mike Rush still up front. Ken Swore tries to battle his way up through the pack. He almost got under Jim Kidd down that last straightaway. Now Ken Swore will go to the outside of Jim Kidd. The leader is still Mike Rush. has found his rhythm. He's put some distance about three car lengths between himself and the last two weeks feature winner, Randy Sward. That rushed the white flag this time. Now Sward squirrely in turn one. Joe Hill tries to duck underneath. They'll race door to door down the back stretch into turn four. Your winner will be Mike Rush. Second will be close. Randy Sward, second, second, Joe Hill, third. I believe Jim Kidd was fourth. And Zero Hill, fifth. I'll check that to make sure that's accurate. That's accurate. Jim Kidd, fourth, and uh, Zero Hill, fifth. Mike Rush, the winner. The second heat race win for Michael of 1993, he has 1992, the 1992 Columbus Motor Speedway track champion in the Buyer Chevrolet Body Shop sponsored Camaro, it's Donnie Renner, Renner in 92. Alongside his third appearance of 1993 at Columbus Motor Speedway with the week off, the ASA series schedule. Actually, his fourth appearance this season. From Columbus, it's Gary St. Amant. Row number two, your second fast qualifier. The Burko Trucking entry. In car number 21 from Miamisburg, it's John Vallow. 
And on the tail, from Mechanicsburg, Ohio, car number 61, the fast racing engines, Buckles Motor Entry of Mike Ward, your fast qualifier this evening, Mike Ward. The inversion draw was a 14. So that means that Mike Ward will start his quest for his first feature win of the season in the 14th starting position. And the 14th fastest qualifier will start on the pole. advantage in the black 71. Gary St. Amant the leader. Now Mike Ward will try to, try to make his way around Donnie Renner. They'll get the white flag this time. Take that back. Halfway that time. Sorry about that. Halfway. This time they'll get the white flag with St. Amant still with about a half a car length advantage. Renner battles back on the inside. And your winner, Gary St. Donnie Renner comes home second. Finishing third is car 61, Mike Ward. And fourth, John Vallow. So Gary St. Amant picks up where he left off. The last time he was here, he won the late model heat race. On the pole in car number eight from Harveysburg, Ohio, it's Jerry Johns. Beside him in car number 90, Ron Freebus. The second row out of the Dayton area, Cal Bush in 79, that uh, racing cardiologist. And alongside in 47, Larry Harris. In the third row, Burgess just White in car 59. And beside him in 39, Randy Maynard Jr. Then comes car 16, Mike Simpson. Car number four, Mike Penny. And car zero, Cecil Jenkins. 10 laps for the late model first heat race. Don't forget to pick up your Columbus Motor Speedway program. Some nice prizes from Triton Transport and Buyer's Body Shop tonight. 10 laps to go. Squirrely in turn two. Everybody misses him. Ron Freebus will lead the first lap. Now Larry Harris trying to make his way around. Ron Freebus. Freebus in 90. Harris in 47. Randy Maynard Jr. runs third in car 39. And we got a fender bender in turn number four. Located behind the main grandstand and the main concourse down there. Stop by and check out all the Winston Cup collectibles. You've got also some drag racing collectible uh, cards and two laps complete. 
Randy Maynard Jr. wastes no time. Immediately to the outside of Ron Freebus for the lead. Freebus looks to be limping around now after that restart. Looks like possibly a deflating tire on the car number 90. We're not sure. It's Randy Maynard Jr., the leader. Mike Simpson is second. Burgess White third in car 59. Halfway signal by starter Jim Ball this time. Maynard with two heat race victories so far in 1993. Looking for number three. That's Mike Simpson in hot pursuit. Burgess White third. Stretch it out over Simpson. One lap to go this time. With his third heat race victory of the racing season, Randy Maynard Jr. Mike Simpson is second. Third is Burgess White. Ron Freebus fourth, and Jerry Johns in the fifth finishing position. So Maynard hasn't uh, picked up two heat wins early in the season. One on opening night, April 17th. His second heat race win way back on May 1st. So tonight is first win since that evening. Starting first in car number 64 from Columbus, Ohio, it's Bobby Fye, Bob Fye in 64. Beside him in car 99, that is not 94, 99, Gary Carter, Gary Carter in 99. In the second row, car number 52, Craig Fudge Leist and Jerry Mitchell in car number six. Look to the third row for Robbie Dean, he'll start in that Car number 12, Robbie Dean will. Uh, beside him in 15, it'll be Mike Carroll. Then comes Lonnie Rush in 83, and car number one, Terry Humphrey. And the news is that Lonnie Rush has declined the Clark Oil Challenge this evening. So again, you won't want to miss next Saturday's 100 lapper because I would be very surprised if tonight's feature winner, regardless of who he is, doesn't take that Clark Oil Challenge next week for 2,800 bucks. 10 laps, the second late model heat race. Lap number one will be Bobby Five. Jerry Mitchell, second, when he gets sorted out. Third is Fudge Leist. Putting that car number 12 through its paces. He is third and closing on Jerry Mitchell. Cross flag. 
tracks, they'll be halfway. Dean can't, Dean can't quite make the pass stick. Bob Pye still the leader. Bob Pye still the leader. Close race for fourth. Uh, car number 99, Gary Carter. And finishing fifth, Craig Leist in the yellow 52. So again, the second heat race victory of the 1993 racing season. It's Bobby Fye. Here in a little bit, we'll be calling off those lucky numbers if you haven't done so yet. Stop down by the main gate. Let's see if they've still got some of those programs. Some nice prizes from um, Buyer Chevrolet Body Shop and Triton Transport here tonight. Quickly, the lineup for the fastest four street stock event on the pole in car number 70, your fourth fast qualifier, second. In the point standings, it's Heavy Hill. Outside of him, third quick time for this gentleman. And fifth in the point standings currently, outside of the front row, Ron Mangus. And on the inside of row number two, with five feature wins in the street stock division, Don Townsend Jr. currently third in the points. And on the tail, currently fourth in the point standings, car number 22, your fast qualifier tonight, Don Parsons, Donald Parsons. Your leader is Ron Mangus in double zero. Second now is Don Townsend. the leader. He'll get the white flag this time. Somebody's second. I think it's Donald Parsons is second. Third is Heavy Hill. Let's see. Your winner will be car number 77, Don Townsend Jr. Again, finishing second will be Donald Parsons, and in third, Heavy Hill. Fourth goes to Ron Mangus. Fred to the pits. I love this country. Red to the pits, please. Your winner, Don Townsend, Jr. To the racing service. 
they'll line up thusly on the pole in car number 39 rookie street stock driver Bruce Elkins beside him in 34 Gary Lamer the second row in 45 it's Glenn Miller Jr. and 33 Jim McCauley then comes 47 Randy Tharp 72 Rick Honecker 74 Roy Harding 79 a lot of 70s in this uh, race 79 Don Holland 02 Vic Matheson 66 Greg Wendell and 32 Kevin Ingram looks like Glenn Miller Jr. with difficulty down there in turn number four next week you can bet there'll be some heated competition this evening to win the 35 lapper because that person will have the opportunity should he so decide to go after the Clark Oil money you guessed it eight laps for the street stock first heat race Again, Bruce Elkins in 39 and Gary Lamer in 34. Lead him around. Lamer takes the measure of Elkins down the front stretch. He's the leader. Second is Jim McCulley. Now Rick Honecker trying to bump McCulley back one spot. McCulley Hugs down on the inside and turns one and two. Rick says, that's okay, I'll try you on the outside. Honiger making a move on the outside of Jim McCulley. Still Gary Lamer out front. Lamer decides he wants to be in a different lane. Vic Matheson in car 02. Matheson inside. We got a three abreast sandwich in turn four. Everybody moving except Lamer. And red flag. Red flag on the speedway. Lamer now moving. Jim McCulley, Don Holland, Kevin Ingram, Greg Wendell, Randy Tharp, Bruce Elkins, and Roy Harding comprise the lineup for the restart. Big Mathis that goes to the inside. Honaker in the fourth third. <laughs> Mathis in the leader. Rick Honaker second. Track officials concerned about that coming off. That hood coming off, so. Honaker has been disqualified. Again, track officials concerned about that coming off and injuring another driver. Second in the event is Jim McCauley. It's still Vic Matheson, the leader. Now Matheson. Slows in 0-2. Macaulay, the leader, again, Rick Honecker has been disqualified. We have been concerned about the that hood coming off. Race for the 
lead in the fourth turn. It'll be close. Oh, my word. The winner, Kevin Ingram in car 32. I can't believe that one. Let's hear a standing ovation for Kevin Ingram. Everybody on their feet. What a race. Okay, here we go. On the pole in car number nine, it is Kenny Thomas outside in 41 tonight. That's driven by Jim New. The second row, it's, uh, I know who that is, Norman Ackerman. Beside him in 69, Clyde Trowbridge. Then comes Bubba Parsons in 12, Bo Davis in 18, 88, Bruce Holmes. 89 is Herb Pennington. 26 is Scott Bowman, and 28, that's Fred Hartzell. Eight laps to go. The leader down the back stretch is Kenny Tom Thomas. Norman Ackerman with an infield shunt. Oh, and now Norman comes together with Jim New. The leader is Kenny Thomas. Thomas out front. The Intimidator, Clyde Trowbridge is second. Third is Jim New, halfway. on to that narrow advantage. Now Trowbridge trying to slip on the outside. Thomas looking for his second heat record of 1993. And Trowbridge is... Motor blows up on the car 69 of Clyde Trowbridge and we're going to have a red. Obviously a lot of oil on that track over there in turn number three. Concern about some driver's conditions. Okay, the, the track crew with their chores completed. We want to thank all the wreckers. Uh, R&J towing, CNN towing, Fergie's towing, and Renner's towing for helping out here every night. We're ready to go racing. Catch Kenny Thomas out front. Second, Bubba Parsons. Norman Ackerman third. Fourth is Bruce Holmes. And I believe there are six laps completed. Kenny Thomas sideways in the fourth turn. He hangs on to it. He'll take the white flag. Thomas tasted victory in the street stock heat race back on June the 5th. 
He's looking for his second such triumph this time around. Bubba Parsons in hot pursuit. Your winner will be Kenny Thomas. Bubba Parsons is second. Third, Norman Ackerman. Fourth is car 88, Bruce Holmes. And fifth, 28, Fred Hartzell. Thomas's 78 Camaro is sponsored by Street Stock Heat Race. Quickly, Jimmy Romans, Dale Brown, Dave Dysinger, Bill Wellman, Steve Tuttle, Bill Hundley, Jamie Hunt. Uh, Danny Brown, Mike Hamilton, and Buddy Townsend. Eight laps for the Street Stock third heat race. That's Dale Brown, the leader down the backstretch. Jimmy Romans in second. Dysinger third, Wellman fourth. The cross flags, they'll be halfway this time. second in car number six. He'll set out after the leader, Dale Brown. Dysinger now moves to third. Wellman begins to reel in the leader, Dale Brown. We wonder if he'll have enough time. The white flag out this time around. car parked on the back bumper of Dale Brown. We'll see if Brown can hold on. This will be his second heat race win of 93, Dale Brown. Bill Wellman is second, third, Dave Dysinger. Steve Tuttle finishes fourth, fourth and Jamie Hunt rounds out the top five. So we'll have a brief intermission. The winner, Dale Brown in car number 13. Brown picked up the heat rate win back on opening night. So this is his second heat race victory of the 1993 from Triton Transport. And he's going to uh, tell us a little bit more about Triton Transport. Daryl? Thanks, Jeff. Uh, Triton Transport is uh, one of the leading intermodal carriers located in the Midwest. Uh, we've been in business since uh, 1982, and um, we transport railroad and steamship line vans and, and containers, uh, mostly in Midwest, Midwest states of Ohio, K Kentucky, Indiana, Illinois, Michigan, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Tennessee. Uh, we run very little East Coast traffic, and we do some Canadian moves. 
Uh, Chicago is definitely our busiest traffic lane. Uh, we have approximately, well, we have 13 terminals, uh, Cleveland, Cleveland, Columbus, Cincinnati, Louisville, Indianapolis, St. Louis, Chicago, Toledo, Detroit, Memphis, Dallas, Nashville, and Worcester. And we have approximately 475 to 480 trucks at this time, all owner operators. Um, our, our pay rates are, we like to think, one of the best around at we started for the first 90 days at 87 cents a mile empty, 89 cents loaded, and after 90 days, the rates go to 90 cents empty and 92 cents loaded. And we are presently offering a $500 fuel sign-on bonus. Okay, Daryl. So your uh, problem is you need you got stuff you need to move, and you need somebody to move it. So if we got any owner operators out in the crowd. Uh, pick up the phone or at least uh, stop down and talk to the folks. They've got uh, some people down there that can tell you more about Triton Transport down there at the at their tent behind the main grandstand. We thank you for coming out, Daryl, and we want to thank Triton for their support of the NASCAR Winston Racing Series here at Columbus Motor Speedway. Well, thank you, Jeff, and we appreciate your time. Okay, thank you. So Triton Transport, one of the sponsors tonight. Stop down and see them at the tent for more information. Feature event. First in car 02 is Charlie Osborne, alongside in 29, Bob Justice. The second row, car number 20, it's Mike Brown, and in car 98, Mike Rush. In row number three, car zero is Donnie Zero Hill, and beside him, the feature winner from the last two weeks, Randy Sword. Joe Hill starts on the inside of row number four in car 70, and beside in beside him in 74, the driver is Ken Swore, the fast qualifier tonight. Then comes Jim Cruz in car number nine. 01, Jerry Buck. Car number 80, Tim Rowenbeck. I think I missed Jim Kidd back in there somewhere, but he's up there anyway. Uh, then comes 65, Mike Matthews, and 23, John Matthews. Sixty-five again, uh, Mike Matthews, and then 23, John Matthews. So 30 laps for the limited sportsman feature event. Number two looked as though the turn the throttle suck and he's okay so that's good news Mike Rush hard into the second turn concrete wall tonight they will be taking that Clark Oil challenge but uh, we'll wait and see if that shakes out limited sportsman feature event on Byer Chevrolet Body Shop Triton Transport Night at the Races. with the advantage down the back stretch. He'll try to tuck in in front of Charlie Osborne. Justice out front. 
Zero Hill second. Osborne and Joe Hill go at it in for the third position. Here comes Zero on the outside of Bob Justice for the top spot. But now he's in jeopardy of being relegated to third by Joe Hill. Justice to task. Kid is up to third in car 25. some other problem and they're telling us that uh, toward your top five starters Lapper. Still Zero Hill out front in the budget car sales. Chevrolet Lumina. Ken Sward up to four spot in 74. this evening. Starting fourth will be Bob Justice and in the fifth spot on the restart, Jim Cruz. Okay, 
false start. We had uh, Joe Hill taking off a little too soon. They feel getting a little too much, too stretched out. Accelerates into the third turn, and we're ready to go racing. car as well as any car or a car that uh, it is deemed by the track officials caused or assisted the uh, party of the first part to spend bringing out the caution. Jim Kidd. Tim Rohnbeck pulls off the track on the backstretch. Now second is Ken Sword. He'll go after your leader, Joe Hill, in turns three and four. Sword started back in that tenth spot. He's on the move. trying the high groove. way he can to get around to Hill. Still Jim Kidd holds on in third. A good battle back there for fourth and fifth between Justice and Cruz. White flag for Joe Hill this time. Or will it? It's going to be close. Sword to the inside. I almost spoke too soon with his fourth feature victory of 1993, Joe Hill. 
Kent Swore tried to slip underneath off that fourth turn, but he didn't have the muscle. Coming home third in car 25 is Jim Kidd. Fourth goes to Bob Justice. And fifth, Jim Cruz. Columbus, Joe Hill. Joe's car sponsored by Sorrel's Western Shop. Creative Frame and Trim, Deberg Auto Body, Germantown Auto Supply, Broadway Radiator, and Fast Racing Engine. goes like this. On the pole in car number four, it's Mike Denny. Beside him in 64, Bobby Fye. In row two, car 99 is Gary Carter. And car 52, Craig Leist. The third row in the fifth starting position, Jerry Mitchell in car number six. And Robbie Dean in car 12. Next up, Mike Carroll drives car 15. And last week's feature winner, Lonnie Rush in 83. Then comes Terry Humphrey in car number one on the inside of the fifth row. Beside him is Donnie Ritter in 92. We then have car 71, Gary St. Amant. 21, John Vallow. Car 61, your fast qualifier tonight, Mike Ward. Then comes 16, Mike Simpson. 39, Randy Maynard. 59, Burgess White. 47, Larry Harris. Zero, Cecil Jenkins, although Jenkins looks to be uh, requesting the tail as he's way back behind everybody else. 79, Cal Bush. 90, Ron Freebus. 8, Jerry Johns. And 26, Bill Cantley. So keep in mind that Gary Carter is in the black number 99 and Robbie Dean is in the blue and white car number 12. Driver changes in those two vehicles this evening. Thirty-five racing laps for the NASCAR Winston Racing Series late models. Mike Denny and Bobby Fye. Gary Carter, Craig Leist, Jerry Mitchell, Rob, Robbie Dean, Mike Carroll, Lonnie Rush. Roy Harding to your race car, please. like the a big streak of oil down the front stretch looks to be from the car number 12 driven by Robbie Dean. That car slowed dramatically on the front stretch collecting John Vallow. And if you look the dark streak going into turn one 
obviously from the car number 12 of Robbie Dean. Other cars involved. Uh, by the way, the good news is everybody's out of their car, or at least so. No one penalized. Mike Denny will lead on the restart. Lonnie Rush on the outside. And Lonnie Rush is looking for two in a row. He's your leader in car 83. Challenges Mike Denny for the runner-up spot. Rush is checking out in that white and orange 83.
third of the season, Lonnie Rush the winner. your top 10 rundown as soon as I have one available from 8th starting spot the winner Lonnie Rush from Pickerington Ohio the Bob Evans sponsored Camaro other sponsors Campus Auto Service M&W Race Transmissions Speedway Engineering Bill Davis Racing Rear Ends car owned by Jeannie Rush The winner, Lonnie Rush. So Rush in that Bob Evans sponsored Camaro, his third feature win of 1993. and Bo Davis. Then comes Bruce Holmes and Scott Bowman in the third row. Next we've got Jimmy Romans and outside of him in 32, Kevin Ingram. Dave Dysinger and Dave Brown make comprise row number five. Steve Tuttle and Bill Wellman are next. Then comes Jamie Hunt, last week's feature winner, and Bill Huntley. Uh, Mike Hamilton and Danny Brown are in the next row. Brown in the car 35 tonight, Danny Brown. Then comes Don Townsend Jr., Heavy Hill, Kenny Davis, or make that Kenny Thomas, I'm sorry, and uh, uh, Donald Parsons. Uh, then Greg Wendell, Vic Matheson, and finally Don Holland and Roy Harding. Nope, wait a minute. Daryl Dexter will drive car 74 in the feature, Daryl Dexter in car 74. The Chesround Oldsmobile pace car off the racetrack on the backstretch. We're ready to rumble the street stock 25 lap feature. the leader, Bubba Parsons second, Norm Ackerman third. Bruce Holmes moves up to four spot, Steve Tuttle is fifth. Off 
the pace in turn number four. Now Bowman gets back, back underway. He'll go across. Oh, my heart. Fred Arzel still paces the field. They'll complete eight laps this time around, I hope. for the top spots. Ackerman in, in car 15, your new leader. See what happens when they come through this is cloud of dust in the fourth turn. Hello, looks like days of thunder out there. The new leader is Norman Ackerman. Second now, Fred Hartzell. Jimmy Roman's in 36. Meantime, Norman Ackerman, the leader. 10 laps to go this time. Steve Tuttle is second in 17. That's Bubba Parsons third. Got a big spill on the front stretch. Oh, Norman Ackerman. Again, the red flag for the car 74 who was uh, throwing a bunch of fluid on the racetrack. So that's what the red flag was for. Those of you who are NASCAR members or who have spouses who uh, are NASCAR members, you'll be getting your True Value Gold Wrench ballot and uh, you need to fill that out and send it into NASCAR for the True Value Mechanic Gold Wrench Mechanic of the Year. Sixteen laps are down, nine to go. Steve Tuttle noses inside of the leader, Ackerman. Steve, Steve Tuttle, the new leader.
Car 17, Steve Tuttle, the leader. Now Don Townsend Jr. is up to second. Steve Tuttle, Ackerman is third, Bubba Parsons fourth, Jamie Hunt fifth. The race for the lead, a heated battle. This time for Steve Tuttle. Don Townsend Jr. again to the outside groove. Tuttle, Tuttle sideways off the fourth turn. And Townsend takes over. And route to his sixth feature win of 1993. Car 77. Don Townsend Jr. Second is Steve Tuttle, Norm Ackerman is third, fourth Bubba Parsons, and fifth Jamie Hunt. Townsend continues on a tear in the street stock division. And again, I'll have the top 10 finish in a couple of minutes. Feature winners tonight in the limited sportsman division. Joe Hill, the late model, Lonnie Rush, and the street stock, Don Townsend Jr. Thanks for coming out, folks, and uh, quickly the top ten rundown in the street stock feature. Don Townsend Jr., the winner. Steve Tuttle, second. Norm Ackerman, third. Fourth, Bubba Parsons. Fifth was Jamie Hunt. Sixth, Dave Dysinger. Seventh was Car 70. Heavy Hill, finishing in eighth, uh, Donald Parsons. Ninth was Fred Hartzell. And tenth, car 88, Bruce Holmes. So thanks for coming out.